This right here is a product that was just sent to me by one of the companies I do business with. They wanted me to do a review and when I opened up the box, I looked at it and I says, this thing is sweet. It's a beautiful touch screen, dual camera, setup, receiver, recorder. I mean, this thing is like totally awesome technology, cutting edge stuff, right? Believe it or not, this is the plug that they give you. I mean, can you be any more lame than this? Who the heck wants this thing? Nobody wants this anymore. Everybody wants to have everything hidden, tucked away, hardwired, looking nice, nice, semi-custom. That's what people want, not this. You stick this thing into your dash, it's gonna look hideous. I can understand running this cable out, but man, this thing has got no class going on at all. So here's a real quick video. So if you're suffering with this problem, this is how you can get around it. And actually, it's interesting because I have like literally cases of these things. And what this thing is, in case you didn't know, is very simply a cigarette lighter to dual USB plug. I'm not suggesting using this hideous looking contraption, obviously. If you watch my videos, you know I would never okay with that. Here's what I do say you can do though. Cut that ugly looking critter off. Remove one of these, and this is what I suggest you do. Take this, plug it into this little guy, bury this under your dash, and that's gonna give you an option to hardwire your accessory. Like you should. Now, how do you wire this up, you say? You black as your grounds. So I'm just gonna take that, take a standard ring terminal, Crimp that on there like so. There's your grounds. How do I do my power, you say? What I'm gonna use here is everybody has a fuse panel. You may have an ATC fuse or a mini ATC fuse holder, whichever. I'm just gonna use a standard ATC fuse. This wire, you're gonna wanna extend, of course, most likely because this may not reach. But if that's the case, then, you know, good for you. But most people are probably gonna have to extend that. But I'm not gonna extend the wire in this video just because I want to keep it short and not bore you to death. This here is a, a, ma a female terminal, standard female insulated terminal. What you got to do is just go to your fuse box, find an accessory circuit that works by accessory, check both sides of the power, like ground the test light. This here is a standard test light. I bought this for one dollar at a test at a, a dollar store, Dollar General, one of those deals. When the key is on, check both sides of the uh, blank vacant spot where this fuse was located. Whichever one is hot, that's the side you don't want to use. You want to go on this side because you want it to go, the, the fuse power here, which is raw, go through this fuse and connect to the circuit through the existing fuse. You don't want to have something directly to the battery ever. So what you're going to do is once you've found the side that's not hot with the key on, put that in there like so. Insert that into your fuse panel. Take your insulated female, get that on there like that, and there you go. There's your power source, there's your ground. You're still using what fuse and transformer, step down, step up transformer, whatever might be in this plug here from the manufacturer. And then you can just simply extend this out, run it up, plug it into your accessory, and you're done. That's the way you want to have wiring done. Nice, clean. Not all this ghastly looking, bulky, nasty, not good stuff. So that's how you do it. And if you need to know the model of the part that I was using, this is one for your reference. I mean, it's not the only one out there on this planet, but this is the one. I have these on my site if you want to do me a favor and purchase some of these things because I got hundreds of these things. This is the CKPL22 that I was using, by the way. So there you have it.